Ah, the perpetual downpour in Gotham City. It's like they have their own ecosystem there, one that's perpetually stuck on brood. So why does it always rain in Batman movies? First, let's talk ambiance. Rain sets a gloomy and oppressive mood, which is perfect for a character like Batman who is, by design, operating in the shadows of human experience. He's a creature of the night, after all, someone who emerged from personal tragedy and now lurks in the darkest corners of a corrupt city. Then there's the aesthetic it creates. Rain slicks down those dark alleys and shines off the sinewy muscles of our caped crusader as he's pummeling the bad guys. It's visual poetry that emphasizes the punch of each hit in a fight, or the flick of each batarang. It also makes for some great contrast, with the neon lights of Gotham's nightlife reflecting off every surface, creating this luminous quality to the otherwise shadow-drenched scenes. On a more symbolic note, rain in literature and film often represents a form of purification. It washes away the filth, both literal and metaphorical. For Batman, who is on a never-ending mission to cleanse Gotham of its criminal elements, rain is a fitting backdrop to his crusade. It's also worth mentioning the technical aspects. The rain can help mask some of the imperfections that come with filmmaking. It adds a layer of complexity to the scene that can be quite forgiving for the special effects team. CGI tends to blend better in lower visibility, and the slick streets can be more forgiving when melding practical effects with digital augmentations. Now, from a purely narrative perspective, when it's always raining, it feels like there's never a break, never a moment of respite for our hero. The rain in these movies is an oppressive force, a reminder that the work is never done, that the filth is never fully cleansed, that the night is always dark before the dawn. Finally, there's something to be said for continuity. Batman movies have been pretty consistent with their atmospherics. If you suddenly had Batman leaping from roof to roof under a sunny sky, fans might feel like they've been teleported to Metropolis. And while crossovers are great, Gotham is not Gotham if our hero's cape isn't drenched. The result is a franchise where Rain is almost as much a character as Batman himself, a constant companion in his solitary fight against chaos. Sure, one of these days it'd be interesting to see how Bats handles a heat wave, but until then, we'll keep our umbrellas at the ready. Because in the cinematic world of Batman, when it rains, it pours. And honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. St. John's Bridge, Portland. But for now, I'll keep watching those rain-drenched scenes, imagining they're just an extension of the drizzly weather I know all too well here in Portland, Oregon. It's not Gotham, but we understand the moodiness that comes with a good downpour.